Hi everyone, back again. So I rebuilt the magnifier I had last time to be a slightly larger one. I needed to experiment and find out why the last one worked so well. And uh, the when I tried the same circuit on the Colorado Springs uh, model I had, uh, why it did not work so well. And uh, I think it's ultimately the coupling, primary to secondary, and uh, not having any coupling to the resonator. And so we've got our lights here, just blinding. And uh, it's pretty interesting. This is the lowest current I've been able to achieve. Um, under 20 milliamps, under 12 volts. And the uh, choke had a big part to do in lowering the current. It, uh, without the choke, it was using about 120 milliamps. And, uh, was doing, um, I'll just detune it here to show you, I was doing about like, like this for light, using uh, several magnitudes more current, so it's really nicely tuned here. And so here we've got uh, the wave at about 500 kilohertz on the nose, and um, what's cool, I'm going to zoom out. It's fairly stable, and uh, after I glued the top load down, uh, all the noise went away on the screen here. This is just the probe sitting sitting in midair, um, just far enough away so I can get it on the screen here. And so I'm going to zoom out, keep going, start to get this uh, kind of wave in time. Um, here's this pretty thick envelope at uh, 10 kilohertz from end to end intervals. Zoom out some more. And, oops, wrong way. And, uh, <laughs> this is what I wanted to show you. This, uh, kind of heartbeat type thing. I thought that was pretty cool. That is pretty exciting. So this will be just the uh, kind of first video of this rebuilt magnifier. Um, one big thing as well was the top load. Uh, I was determined to uh, get it to run on this large uh, thing here, but it was just putting the resonator too far out of range for the driver. And being the master oscillator, primary, secondary. And uh, once I switched to the smaller top load, um, I found I was just at the limit of the capacitor here and uh, added a second, uh, so a fourth 100 picofarad capacitor parallel to the uh, feedback circuit. And uh, just when I rotated it to the very end of the dial, uh, this fundamental harmonic came into uh, came into range, and then I realized the whole time I was tuning on one of the weaker harmonics, trying to squeeze everything I could out of it. And uh, so, yeah, this being the fundamental now, uh, it's the strongest intensity for sure, with uh, yeah under 20 milliamps of current. There's a little bit more field around this one. And uh, you can see uh, close to the secondary, and there's uh, just no, uh, virtually nothing going on. And I'll go up the resonator, being a series LC resonant circuit, inductor and capacitor in series. And uh, we start to get resonant rise going up the coil here, kind of probe where it is. And this is under under 10 volts, under 20 milliamps. So um, this is uh, extremely good good tuning. The resonant rise going up that series LC circuit. 
So, that's pretty exciting. And like I said, the big thing was the choke. Um, getting it down below 20 milliamps, the uh, choke was crucial. Had to rebuild everything with multiple taps. Uh, the capacitors were probably the most hard to figure out. Um, but the biggest thing was the top load, choosing the correct size for the top load there. <coughs> so, I'll talk to you guys again later.